Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this video, we are going to learn how to do aerodynamic analysis using SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. So let's start. We have made this plane on SOLIDWORKS and we are going to do aerodynamic analysis of this plane. For that, first of all, go to add-ins and on Cyber's flow simulation add-in in your SOLIDWORKS. So you will see this tab appearing. Now press the wizard button and rename the project name. From here you can set the SI units I am going to use SI meter kilogram and second now from here you will set external analysis type because internal is for pipe or flow simulation in pipes and external is for aerodynamic analysis and we are going to exclude cavities without flow condition and exclude internal spaces because we are going to do aerodynamic analysis of the body so if our aeroplane is in the air so gravity will be working on it so we are giving the gravity in the y direction so gravity will work in the negative y direction from here you can see that this is our y direction so give minus 5.8 meter per second square go to next from here you will add gases like we are going to do aerodynamic analysis using air gas go to next now from here you will give the velocity of an air so our velocity should be in the z direction because our negative z direction because our part or aeroplane is moving in the z direction so air will be working on it in the negative z direction so we are going to give minus 120 meter per second air velocity and select finish from here now you can see that our model is in computational domain this box is our computational domain it is so large we can adjust it from selecting it here we can adjust it by selecting it from here just drag this proceed like this now our computational domain look good so boundary condition is already added our boundary condition is inlet velocity of minus 120 meter per second so from here you can select the goals or results you want we are going to select total pressure and total temperature velocity velocity at z x and y and we are going to select the force in the y direction force in the y direction will be your lift force and friction force in that direction you can select any result you want to generate so from here you can edit your global mesh or local mesh you can refine it from here we are just going with the default mesh so therefore we are not changing any mesh types now just we will run this study wait while your solver has been started of the calculation so from here you can see that it is preparing model
so our mesh has been generated successfully now if you want to see the real time view you have to go to insert and from insert you will go to preview and from preview you will select display one main one and from here you will select the pattern so you can see the real time results from here you can see the iterations and it is showing the minimum and maximum value of pressure as it is changing with iteration Our solver is finished normally. We will go back to see the results. Now, from here, you will plot the surfaces or trajectories to see our results. First of all, we are going to see what is cut plots, and we are going to make the cut plot to see our result pressure velocity. For that, we are going to select the plane. We are going to select right plane, or you can select plane one, which is in the, which is in between the model. So select pressure from here. From here you can select the result you want. We are going to select the pressure, and from here you can select the number of legends. Press OK. So now you can see that our contour has been generated, and it is showing the pressure that our pressure on the on this tip is more like this. and if we want to see the float trajectories we will hide these cut plots we will go to float trajectories and from here we will select the model or species like this So now our model is selected. From here, you can select the representation of the float trajectories, like we are selecting lines, and it will select the width of line. From here, you will select the velocity or results if you want to generate. We are selecting velocity in that direction. Okay, now we will select it. so you can see that our results have been generated you can increase the number of lines we can see the animation by right clicking by doing right click on flow trajectories and select play so from here you can see the animation like this so the velocity at this blue line showing is 142 and in the green lines it is showing that velocity is decreasing like 38.046 meter per second now we can see that how we can calculate lift force so for that we will go to goal plots go to insert and here you have all the values of the goals you have selected to plot so we will select force in the y direction it will be our lift force and we will select show from here so from here you can see that it is showing that our maximum value of lift force is 260 n so you can also add friction force from here and maximum velocity and you can export this table to excel from here and you can see the goal plot from here go to insert go to goal plot this option is in the solver so don't cancel the solver after it has been finished go to force and select so this graph will show you 
the maximum value with the iterations like it is showing that the current value is 206 and the average value is 212 meter and it is showing that the achieved in iteration is equal to 77 so this was our tutorial on solidworks flow simulation have dynamic analysis these are not the original values the model is not the in the original dimension it is the tutorial to show that how you can do the simple aerodynamic analysis on cybers flow simulation giving your exact values or dimensions using the same procedure thank you for watching keep supporting and share our video